run Nerf Dance in Berlin in the UK. Now in this video we're going to be looking at the sequence dance the Catherine Waltz adapted for smaller spaces. Now the Catherine Waltz does feature a lot of steps that you recognise from your bronze and silver waltz with a few little bits thrown in as well. We'll show you, shall we? So the first section we're going to look at is made up of two underturned reverse turns, a forward passing change or three walks, and an underturned spin turn. Okay, so what we're going to have are these reverse turns. We're doing a quarter of a turn anti-clockwise, so to our left each time. Leaders going forward left foot, followers going back to the right foot. We have a step, side, together. The leaders going back right foot, followers coming forward left foot. Step, side, together. Done half a turn. We're going to repeat that. Step, side, together. And on the last one, we're only going to turn to the diagonal. Now, for the forward passing change, you can do three walks in the line with part of the leaders, but ideally, steps two and three go outside her. So have step two, three. We're then going to have the first part of a spin turn, but actually only going to have a step side close, really underturned. Then we'll have our rock round for the spin, rock around on the spot, and then we'll have a step side close. And I would recommend probably finishing out with the diagonal leaders. As you go back from the beginning, we're going to turn this first reverse turn then to make ourselves back up to the diagonal to the straight on the wall and then carry on from there and turn two, three, then to the diagonal. Our step, go outside, turn two, three, spin round and step side together. So we're going to try that to some music now. Please remember that if you need to, you can take smaller steps. And don't forget the sequence dances. We have a four bar intro to the music, then everyone starts at the same time. So four, five, and one, two, three, two, two, three, a quarter turn, a little bit less, a three walks and a little turn, a spin around, back to diagonal, then a big turn. You go back master this harder part is to keep repeating just that small section on its own as we go through. Let's have a look shall we? So we'll start with the whisk. For the whisk, leaders go forward left foot, followers go back on the right foot. It's going to be a step to the side and across behind into a V-shape away from our partner. So open up away. Now for the wing, leaders going forward right foot, followers forward left foot. We're then going to wait on the spot and our partner's going to walk around to our side. So step, two, three. Now for the close telly mark, it's a big heel turn. I do. So, followers can go back on their right foot, do a heel turn. Leaders come forward left foot, big strong turn around behind your partner. Step, round, out. Now from here then, we're going to repeat our natural spin turn, a little turn, hardly any turn there. Our spin turn coming round, We'll finish out the diagonal and then we can repeat from here. So whisk, two, three, the wings, they walk around, step, big thing turn, and a spin turn at the end to go back to the beginning of that section. If, like us, you're dancing on a non standard dance floor, you may struggle with the heel turns. If this is the case, just do your best. Okay, so I'm going to take a closer look at the follower steps. So we start off with our whisk. We've got our right foot free, head to the left, we're going to step back on the right foot, side on the left foot, step behind on the right foot. As we step behind on the right foot, our head moves from the left over to the right and we open up into promenade position. 
From here, we're then going to do our wing. We're going to walk round our partner three steps, starting with the left foot. Step, step, step. At this point, my head has gone from my right to the left, and we're back into this position. From here, we then have our closed head mark. It's really important at this point to keep our body at all times facing our partner because it's such a big turn. We do a heel turn. So the idea with the heel turn is we step back on our right foot, bring our left foot, left heel in, go up onto our toes, and step back on our right foot. At this point, my head has stayed to the left, and I've stayed nice and tight and close to my partner. From here, I've now got another spin turn. Starting with the left foot, we're going to do a step, side, close, just a nice small turn, and then a small spin turn, step, step, spin, and then we're going to do the final three steps, forward on the left foot, side and close, to be back on the line that we want to dance on. Step, side, close. So I have a look at those leader steps as well. Uh, ours again are slightly simpler than our partners. For the whisk, we're going for the left foot, we have our step to the side, crossing behind. Now for the wing, we'll take a step forward the right foot and drag our left foot in. Our chest is going to go step to the left. We take our partner to walk around us from our right hand side to our left hand side. For the close heading mark, big step forward the left foot, round our partner, step Round the side of the right foot, we keep turning on the right toe and land left foot over here. And again, that spin turn, step, small turn here, our spin around the little spot, and our step side close. So we'll try that without music. We'll start with that whisk, lead his left foot, follow his right foot. We have a step to the side, we cross behind. Our wing, our partner walks around to our left hand side. We have that closed turning mark and our spin turn, one, two, three, spin around and out from there. We're in the position where we can go again. So we have our whisk, two, three, our wing, two, three, our closed turning mark, spin turn around at the end from there for the moment. We're going to try all that to music now. Leaders with their left foot, followers with their right foot will count you in. turn, spin, turn, one, two, three, spin, two, three, step, side, together, into the whisk, so a whisk, two, three, the wings, walk around, close, tenderly, mark, spin, turn, four, five, six, step, side, together, and for the moment, back to the reverse turns, from there, to carry on, round the grip. So we're going to try it all to music now. Leaders on the left foot, followers on the right foot. We'll count you in. So three, two, three, four, two, three. step 
in our Catherine waltz. It's like a shoulder to shoulder action and it comes just before the end of our spin turn. Okay, so we'll show you, shall we? We're going to have our spin turn. So our one, two, three, our spin, two, three. Now rather than going step to side close, we're going to have a step to side, we're going to pull outside our partner leaders for a check. Now here, Lynn's going back left foot, follows coming forward right foot, we have steps side to the other side. And then we finish with our steps side together. And that's it. We're back to the beginning of our Catherine Waltz. So from the beginning, leaders left foot, followers right foot, our reverse turns first of all. So turn two, three, turn two, three, turn two, three. The forward passing change. One, two, three. The natural spin turn. One, two, three. Then we have the whisk. So whisk, two, three. The wings, two, three. The close, ten, lean mark. The spin turn. Now again, from here, we're going to have our step, side, check, step, side, check, step, side, together. So we're going to try all of that now from the beginning. Leaders with their left foot, followers with their right foot. We'll count you in. Okay, okay, again, again, again. 